Hello, I am Pastor Antoinette Kass. I'm a Buddhist pastor in Kichara. I am talking today about vegetarian vows. His Eminence Tsem Rinpoche said, however you look at it, by eating meat you harm yourself, you harm others and you harm the planet and you support cruelty towards animals. Taking the vegetarian vows is the promise we take that we will not eat meat, fish or seafood. And in that way, we do not create the causes for the killing of animals and all the cruelties that are linked to that. By holding the vow, we also create the good cause for us to develop the bodhicitta mindset and release all sentient beings from suffering and pain. Why taking vegetarian vows? By taking the vows, we generate a lot of merit and develop compassion. Compassion is something that we should practice towards not only humans, but also to other beings too, including animals. We can dedicate the merit generated to someone who is sick or who has passed away. Holding such a vow can also create the karmic causes to be healthy and to live long. So the vegetarian diet is good for our health. What are the guidelines? What is the food you can eat or cannot eat? You cannot eat anything that contains meat or fish or seafood. How long must I take the vows for? The length of time you take the vows can be one day or two days or more days or a week, a few weeks, a month, a couple of months, a year or a lifetime. You can start slowly, but the intention is to go long term so that you remember always this intention. What are the benefits? The benefits of holding the vegetarian vows are that we becoming more compassionate, reminding ourselves that we can die anytime and we don't know where we will end up. We remind ourselves to our food choices through being vegetarian that we can help others daily by what we eat. We will have a healthy body and create the causes for a long life. And our mind is becoming clear and peaceful. And also, we have less anger because we don't have the karma of killing, which is involved with eating meat. What is the process? How do we take the vegetarian vow? The participants will be guided by the Buddhist pastor in Kechawa. We offer a kata to Rinpoche's throne and we are setting a strong motivation. The participants should think strongly about taking the vow and how long we take the vow for at this point. And also we dedicate the merits towards generating the merit for a person or for uh, any cause you wish to dedicate it to. So we sit down and we begin the prayers guided by the pastor. All the prayers will be done together. After the completion dedication and Shantideva's dedication, the participants make their personal dedication silently. They should again vocalize quietly their vow and the duration. Participants can offer at that time a kuyong, which is a token of appreciation or other offerings to Rinpoche's throne at this point. And they are also encouraged to give a kuyong or token of appreciation or other offerings to the pastor who is leading the vows. It is important that we remember after the completion of the period of the vegetarian vow, such as a month or whatever you choose, that you sit in front of your altar and recite the King of Prayers with concentration. How long is the duration of the ceremony? It is about 45 minutes. Some questions you might have. Some people are worried for the protein or they would miss important minerals and vitamins. It is important to have a balanced diet and of course with lots of veggies. Who can I dedicate the vows to? You can dedicate the vows to a loved one who is sick or who has passed away, unfortunately. You can also dedicate towards your parents or your spouse or your children, your loved ones. 
If the food you eat contains meat, you can eat the rest of the food and you leave the meat out. Can I take my own vows? For the first time, you need to receive the vows from a pastor. After that, you can take the vegetarian vows on your own. But it would be better to receive the vows again from a pastor. Thank you all for listening and goodbye.